Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Math Solutions. I'm Matt Parker and this is the Math Solution for the last of Matt Parker's Math Puzzles Season 1, at a minimum. We've reached an end and uh, this is a very kind of festive, celebratory solution video. So as you may have noticed, I've got some lights rigged up. Check those out. Um, and uh, we got a special, there's like, ah, uh, the 19 challenge. Wow, there is a, there is a lot going on in this shot, which I don't from experience, some of you will not appreciate. So I'll tell you what, at a minimum, let's have a less horrific pattern on the lights. So I can dial, no, oh, that's <laughs> substantially worse. There we go. Okay, these are actually from a previous show I was doing. I did a Christmas Mass Inspiration special. I put those up during the show. I thought I'd leave them for this. Okay, and here we go. Let's do a picture and picture mat. That's a lot nicer. And I can even animate this. There you go. So Deanna, who makes these solution presentations for me, uh, put in this. So it's a very festive um, end of season celebratory video. There you go. The 19 challenge was to... Uh, th oh, look at that. Retro. Uh, the puzzle was, if uh, you square the first 19 primes, add them together, it's a multiple of 19. Slightly regret that wording. Come to that in a moment. What is the next value for which that happens? Um, and I did say, we'll accept any valid entry, but bigger is better. So, and some people very much did that. We've discovered all new numbers that have this property that were previously not known to humankind. Ah, spoilers. Do that in a moment. However, the first thing to get uh, cleared up is a lot of people sent in um, that the sequences in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. Uh, as you can see over there, it's uh, sequence A111441, which um, you can check out. In fact, I've got, I, I should have looked it up. I didn't, sorry, I wasn't planning to do this. I've got the uh, offline uh, version of integer uh, sequences, so I probably... I could look it up, it'll be in here somewhere, right? But obviously, a little bit, a little bit out of date, that one. And it's got a lot more um, sequences now. So, uh, and for the record, we know, we know it's in there. I was very careful with my wording. So, so I, thought, I wanted to phrase the puzzle in such a way that you couldn't just look it up on the OEIS, or if you tried to Google for it, which some people do, uh, you wouldn't just go straight to the page with this sequence on it, which is why uh, on, on the actual, um, Oh yes, it's, it's divisible by k, so I uh, did n instead of k, and I said instead of divisible by k is a multiple of k. I was just finding another way of wording it. Technically, that opened the door for zero being an option, um, and we've not disqualified you if you put in zero. Um, so uh, I really, I just, I should have been either more clearer with n's going to be bigger than nineteen, or I should have not been trying to be so clever to avoid the wording on that. But thank you everyone who just emailed a link to that. Super helpful. Um, but you're getting involved. I can't complain. Good work. Um, now, so if you look at the number of entries on the online encyclopedia of integer sequences, there hadn't been a new term in this sequence since 2013. Huh? Until now. Good transition, De Deanna. Um, and this is partly why I picked this. I was like, you know what? I reckon, given there's been no new values, in seven years, and processing power is constantly improving. I was like, where were the fighting chance to find some new ones? And sure enough, if you now go on to uh, the website, boom, look at that, we got three new ones. So these have all been added because of this puzzle, because the people who complete these puzzles found new ones and put them in. And they're just the first, probably the first people who got them onto the OEIS. Other people did find some of those values as well. Amazing. We'll get to those in a moment. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all of you. So thank you everyone who sent in loads of coding. Um, I won't spend too long on this. So um, this is great. Um, uh, Sage, so, uh, Paul here did it in Sage. You know, I'm going to put myself in the top corner. I'm happier. I'm happiest up here. And when I look at, I got my display over here. When I look at my display, it looks like I'm looking at it on the screen, which I find uh, deeply satisfying. So uh, good job on the sage there, Paul. Uh, Sean did it in Python, and um, good stuff. Uh, they found the first nine, I believe. In fact, we got a lot of Pythons. Thomas here did it in Python as well, and um, found a whole bunch. Sent in a lovely table. Very nice. 
loads of honourable mentions for Python coding this time, given it's the last solution video, we tried to put as many in as we could, uh, you know, Maya, Daniel, Bruce, Anthony, Jonathan, Kevin, John, William, Robert of course, and other people, there were so many, um, these were just, were very generous definitions of some of our favourites, don't be sad if you said something that's not in there, we couldn't list everyone, we just tried to put a whole bunch in. Um, We've also had uh, some C code from Theo, we've had Lisp from Paul, we've had Ruby, of course, without Rails, I believe, uh, from <laughs> Robert. Spreadsheets! Michael G did it in a spreadsheet, good to see, and I did test this was spreadsheetable before I set the original puzzle, and someone did it by hand. Check this out, Tom, oh my goodness, uh, Tom um, uh, verified it by hand, absolutely incredible. I don't know if Tom actually found it by hand originally, but it was checked by hand. That is incredible, you definitely get a mention. And uh, double checked it in Swift, so I sent in some Swift code down there as well. So, great work, uh, Tom, love what you're doing. Huge, uh, uh, amazing mention to uh, Noah here, so uh, Noah Morris. I think every week, maybe not every, not week, every puzzle, <laughs> they're not weekly. Every puzzle, pretty sure Noah has tweeted the solution in Mathematica code and this was no exception so you were able to generate these values using a, a single tweets worth of Mathematica code. So good. Okay now we get on to the new numbers. Oh I was so excited. You should have seen me. Uh, like I went running through to the living room. Where were we? I think it was the living room. To my wife Lucy who's amazing. I was like we found a new number. But she's like yeah but what does that even mean? Like, either that, either that's amazing because you discovered a new number, but don't all numbers already exist, in which case you could just pick one. And I was like, no, nah, okay, with, with some special properties, but ah, you exceeded my expectations, puzzlers. Ah, so good. So, um, here we go. Uh, Val is one of the people who sent in the 13th value. Here we go. New value. What's that? 230 billion, 26 million, 580,777. No one else ever found that number before we did. All of us, we all share in this excitement. Uh, oops, block, blocking your name, sorry. Uh, um, Bel Belaz Dura Kovacs. If I'm ever gonna give everyone's name a go, it's gonna be this um, one. Was one of the people who found the 14th value. What's that now, hang on, that's uh, millions, 22 trillion, 148 billion. 897,608,321. Oh my goodness. All new number. That number's been there. Like, since the universe first came into existence, if not before. No one ever appreciated that that specific number was amazing. Until Balaz and the rest of us, because we're all big one team, came along. Oh no, I can go about this all day. Anders, 15th value. Just off the chart. A um, trillion. 51 trillion. 271 billion 840 million 444,000 that's pleasing to say and 39 so there you are and they um uh, and just in some amazing code generating this verifying it all the stuff they did they used the measles uh lerma good algorithms lemmas uh to verify the number of primes below certain values great use of the prime counting function and uh, just so good. I I'll link to as much code as people sent in in the description below this video. So there you are. Look at that. There's a whole new number that we found. We should be so proud. All of us. And overall, there has to be a final winner. And we do have a final winner. So uh, let's... Uh, I'm going to go to uh, wipe mode. Um, and swap around. So I'm on this side. Okay, so uh, the final winner. Uh, zeroth place, Anton. Anton 3. I don't think there were two other Antons. Uh, but the zeroth place... In, oh wait, that's not. Wait, let's get that. There we go. Sorry, I've got to click to get the party started. So Anton came in top overall. Anton was constantly at the very top of the board. Absolutely amazing. Great work, uh, Anton, for making it over the line. Uh, we also had uh, first place was uh, Zatka. Z I think that's how you'd pronounce that. There you go. First place. Uh, second place, Mark. Mark, great work, Mark, coming in second. Anastos. Trying everyone's name out. Third place, I am a noob. Twelve. I, I, manuba. Twelve. I don't know. There you go. Noob. The twelfth of them. There you go. Maybe more. Who knows? We all know is they came in. 
position number three. Uh, if I move around too much, my camera is decided to focus on the lights behind me. I apologize. That's probably super annoying. Uh, and rounding out the rest of uh, the top 20. There you go. Just amazing. People in bold, not in bold. Love what you're all doing. Just absolutely incredible. Uh, lots of numbers because we had a lot of repeat people in there. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce everyone's names, but just incre incredible work. And everyone, everyone who got involved. Great, great stuff. Uh, really, oh, and actually, we... Oh, can I show... Come out of my presentation. Um, uh, David sent in a um, spreadsheet where they went through... Uh, David Fitchmuller went through and crunched a bunch of the numbers. I put in the extra numbers uh, into their spreadsheet. You know, I'm just going to drag the whole thing out. I was going to... Photoshop this up and make it look nice. I'm not going to do that. Um, so here it is. Let's, uh, there we go. I'm literally sliding it into the shot. Isn't that uh, retro? Oh, and you can see a little bit of my, um, what's that? It's my email. Okay, don't look at that. I'm going to see if I can move that out of the way. That's awkward. There we go. Okay, so good stuff. Uh, oh, whoops. No, wrong way around. There we go. Uh, and so the great thing about this, uh, this, this was the plot of, for each of the puzzles, how many people got it correct uh, with a bonus, yellow, just generic, correct, got it wrong. Blue is got it wrong, but with a bonus, which only happened twice, 50% of the times, because uh, of James Graham. There you go. And so I've, this is an open office document that I have done unpleasant things to in Excel, which is why it's not quite formatted correctly. But I thought it was nice to show. There's, um, well, that first week really exploded. Went from the first week which was like the spin the table puzzle, to uh, second week was the um, fuel on the train. Man, that was a boom, crunch. Uh, and then we grew back up again. It's been pretty consistent um, since we've gone uh, along since then. So the uh, 15th one, what's the 15th one? Why is, I probably should have put the labels on this. I'm sorry, 15th, prime pairs. That was the prime pairs puzzle. There you are. Uh, and then Pascal's triangle. Man, that just, a lot of people got tripped up on that. Uh, so there you are. Thank you very much, David, for sending that in. Great work. I'm going to make that go away now with the magic effect. Ooh, look at that. Okay, uh, and I can turn that off. There we go. Um, right, so uh, lastly, let's wrap up the final stats uh, for this season of Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. Um, I know every time I say that, when I edit the video to put it online, everything else I do in camera, in one take, love doing these videos because they're quick and fast and fun. Uh, but I know each time I say the name, I'm going to have to go and make sure I edit that in to match um, the words. So I say it sparingly. Let's go back to the presentation. So now here are the final stats. Look at that. So we had uh, 16,000 people in total who uh, joined in and entered at some point or another. We um, had uh, 40... 3,928 uh, entries across all 19 puzzles, um, which means the average person entered 2.6 puzzles. There you go. And of all those 43,928 entries, 76.8% of them were correct. So roughly three quarters of all entries to all puzzles were spot on. Great work. And that's it. We're done. That's the end. Um, season one. I keep saying season one because we'll probably do occasional videos across the course of 2021. Um, but I've got other uh, stuff I'm meant to be doing, and uh, this whole thing was put together with people's spare time. And it's been an immense amount of fun, and the community of people who've grown up around it is just incredible. And it'd be a real shame to to waste that. So I, I don't want to waste the fact that we have so many great people now um, who are involved, uh, in this. So we may still do occasional challenges in one of my main channel videos. Uh, I might have something like the ellipse, perimeter of an ellipse video. And we've still got all the stuff people have sent in and are sending in at some point. I'll do a follow-up video about that. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep doing things from time to time, but we can no longer commit to doing these so regularly. And there's other stuff going on now. So if you want to do more of these amazing puzzles, uh, Scroggs, Matthew Scroggs, He's the person who made Menace, which you may have seen my video on from a couple of years ago. Uh, that's the um, the matchboxes full of beads that learn to play knots and crosses. Very cool. Uh, Matthew Scroggs is running his advent calendar of code, which is happening at the moment. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you want to check it out, because uh, you've got addicted to doing these sorts of things, you can do that. Uh, also, Katie Steckles, who um, 
this movie you may know she does a number of our videos I've, I've done stuff with Katie for years she does absolutely incredible things she runs a thing called Puzzle Bomb and if you sign up to uh, support Puzzle Bomb on Patreon Katie is sending out puzzles and so I will link to that as well so if you want to support what Katie's doing and get more puzzles you can do that there are loads of other puzzles out there we will be back eventually but that's it that is the end of oh wait okay. there we there we go and you know what let's go let's give it a bit of this there we go that's it. It's the end. I should have put that lower in the frame. Why not? Let's do it live. There we go. I'm also going to centralize the effect. There we go. That's the end. Season one. Thank you so much for joining in. Keep enjoying mathematics. Keep doing puzzles. If you've enjoyed doing them here, there's loads of other places you can get puzzles and join in. I can't believe we got to finish the first season by contributing new mathematics. All of us together, but specifically some people, found all new numbers with the property and they're now in the encyclopedia of integer sequences. Mathematics is better for these puzzles having existed. Thank you so much for taking part. Huge thanks uh, to Zoe Griffiths who got this going in the first place. Uh, Deanna, who runs around in the background and um, puts all of the uh, presentations together and helps go through the emails. Incredibly uh, amazing. Uh, and Oliver, Oliver Dunk, uh, sorry, Deanna Judd, I should give everyone's proper, proper names. Uh, Oliver Dunk is uh, hugely, uh, just holds the whole thing together by putting the database together. And so all the entries and analyzing stuff and doing that as well as helping with the emails. So thank you so much, everyone who made this possible. Thank you everyone for joining in. I am now done. And um, these videos will resume at some uncertain point in the future. Until then, keep enjoying maths. Dramatic fade.